Welcome back to the moving vlog. So, so if you don't know, we just bought our house. So we okay. So so far, it's all been it's been all about furniture shopping. We just wanted to get the big stuff out of the way because we know that all the big stuff, like the sofa, dining chairs, dining table, all of that kind of stuff, takes very long time to come so we just wanted to get that done and out of the way so it was such a big priority for us to just like get that done oh mm. that's on the crunchy mm. okay so it's early well it's not early but we started early essentially so what we had planned is just go to as many furniture shops as we can go to and stuff like that just to see what we kind of want we want to buy a sofa do i have something on my mouth so our main aim was to get a sofa, a dining table and chairs and just essentially just a place to sit because especially when guests come around and there's nowhere to sit but uh, you know essentially so in the end we found the perfect sofa so we weren't gonna go for something luxurious. Oh, we did so we got this sofa from sophology it's called cadenza it's a three-seater cadenza sofa and look at us getting electric recliner and then also it's got these usb ports it's like it's luxury like what are we doing this sofa was 1000 999 pounds and plus we got this thing that is like specific to sophology which is called sofa glide and essentially it's just it goes at the bottom where your sofa legs are and then they just it's easier to move your sofa around and plus it doesn't scratch your floor stuff like that so it's like let's get that because when we got our fridge the guys scratched our floor with the fridge and we know our floor is probably easy to scratch so we're like okay let's add the sofa glide on sofa glide at 15 pounds so altogether it's 2000 well Nine one thousand nine hundred ninety nine plus fifteen pounds for our sofa, but oh my god, it is nice. Baz didn't know, but this is the exact same sofa as my mom's. And then he just sat on it and was like, "We need to get this sofa. Like this sofa is a comfy sofa. Yeah, it's nice. luxurious." And then also we went to um, different furniture shops to decide on our dining table and chairs. So our sofa is actually going to come in June. It takes a very long time to come. So it's February, it's going to come in June, it's going to take months, but we're doing this. And then our dining table and chairs. So we ended up finding these, well we didn't even want, okay. We don't intend for things to be like, I guess, luxurious for us, but we end up getting stuff that's really really nice so we saw these dining chairs well, we saw this dining chair and table set and we really wanted it it's like these swivel chairs dining table swivel chairs how nice is that i didn't even know that really existed but we're getting it so originally we wanted this dining table and chair set and it looks nice together however the dining table and the chairs the silver the silver on the chairs is like this brushed silver and the silver on the table was like this chrome silver some basically the silvers didn't match and then if we wanted the dining table and chairs together it would take months to come months so we're like mm. but if we got the chairs he told us if we just got the chairs it's four to six weeks so we're like okay we'll get the chairs we saw this table that we really liked in on this website called Danetti, I think. Danetti? Was it Danetti? We saw this. Danetti. Yeah, and the silver <laughs> matches the silver on the dining chairs. So we're like, you know what? Let's just get the dining chairs and we'll get a table online. And the table online literally comes within the same week. So, you know, we might just have a dining table for a while and then just wait about a month and a half for some dining chairs. But at least we're getting this out of the way because, oh my God, like, even so, like, four to six weeks for dining chairs, the sofa in june is gonna take a very very long time we have been shopping since the morning it is now the afternoon we've been shopping for ages we that's the first bite of something that we just ate like honestly we are tired we are hungry we actually we just got toiletries so we finally got toiletries so we're gonna head back home we're gonna take our first shower <laughs> at the at the house so i just i want to see i just want to see how the water pressure is like but we're gonna take a shower and then later on we actually have a sharps appointment so we've got appointment for uh we want to get fitted fitted wardrobes in the bedrooms and um some storage system in the living room so we've got appointment later on so let's just let's just let's just, let's just head home let's just head home mm. <laughs> Thank you.
I am just exhausted from what just happened. Let me just tell you the plans, what happened, and then what's gonna happen. So essentially, so the plans that we had for this place, we spent a whole year thinking about this place. Very unreasonable what we were thinking about doing and just the route we were going for. We are redirecting the route, but here's what we initially had planned. Come to storage, let's get some fitted wardrobes. We wanted three, so we wanted just a double one for the bedroom. That's just going to be like a mirrored sliding door one. My room, so I do got a lot of clothes. I have quite a lot of things and yes, yeah, so. Okay, so I guess maybe not bedroom, but my office, I guess, I'm gonna have, it's gonna be like office slash wardrobe. So I'm gonna, along the wall, I want like a wardrobe and that's gonna be the biggest wardrobe. And then also for downstairs, our hallway isn't big enough in terms of things like coats and shoes and stuff. So I want like a storage back here, back here. This is, I'm in the living area. And so I want a storage all across the wall back there. And it's gonna be like coats and shoes for guests and just like store like a whole load of stuff that you would store in like the living room. And also, I want to store things like Baz's tools. We don't have anything for his tools. We don't have a garage, so we want to like have extra storage in the house, but I want it to be like very seamless and stuff. So that's the plans that we had for this house. However, we did not know the price that this was going to cost. And you know, with anything, with buying things for this house, I've realized it's expensive. <laughs> so we just had our Sharps appointment and oh my God, it exhausted me like, it took, I feel like it took way longer than it should have. Also, this guy was trying all his sales tactics that I was just, oh, at the end, I, was, I think I was just getting annoyed as well and I wanted him to leave, but he wouldn't leave without a deal. So essentially, we have booked in shops, wardrobes, pressure to the, which is my fault completely, but I just, I do regret it. We had a, a sales guy come in and give us a quote. I have the quote breakdown here, but before we go into the quote breakdown, oh my God, this guy was trying all his sales tactics. I felt like he was not even putting his all into it because it was just so obvious that they were all sales tactics. And it was just, I put myself in blame because I went through with it in the end, but I was just fed up. He even used like the whole, essentially. So what happened was he, Baz is tall. Baz is also black, but he, this guy that come in, he's white. So he was going on about his grandsons being tall, nothing relating to being black or anything. And he was going on about like tall stuff. So we're, we're all about like growing up tall and stuff like that. Also, I can't relate because I did not grow up tall, but I was in the conversation. And essentially he was on about his grandsons and how tall they are, or well, how tall one of them is. He was like, oh, you were, and he was talking to Baz, like, you remind me of my grandson. Da, 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 da. Essentially, he was trying to get like some way in to show us a picture of his grandson, but he kept on talking about height. And the way that he was going on about it, we were going to see like a tall grandson or whatever. This guy is young, like, I mean, this child is young. He showed us a picture of his grandson sitting down, nothing to do with height. And he wanted to show us a picture of him against his other two grandsons and show him, show us like this, this grandson, he's the tall one, but they were all sitting down. And we did have, the only thing that we got from it was that he was just trying to show us a picture of his grandsons, which were half black because Baz is black. There was no like, I wish I had this recorded or something because it was just so like unrelated. The height, the height was just so unrelated out of the picture, but he wanted to show us a picture to show the height and it just did not even make any sense. So it was just like, you're showing your grandsons because they're black. Is this, what is this? This guy was trying the most essentially as well, saying, and he was doing all this sales tactics. And I, I do have experience with Charlotte's bedrooms because my mum used them, but the sales guy didn't use all the sales tactics that this guy used. And I know with Charlotte's bedrooms, Charlotte's bedrooms, there's always the process of like, because I've seen my mum's breakdown sheet. It looks the same as my breakdown sheet. They will give you a full price, which you are never ever gonna pay you a full price, but they give you a very over-exaggerated price and then they break it down, break it down. So it seems like you're getting a amazing discount. Essentially your discount is just their ordinary price, but they make, they make you go through this whole process. So you feel like you've got the best discount that you can get and then you're gonna make the deal. But on my breakdown sheet, there is essentially just in order the sales tactics that the sales guys go through. So they give you a full price. For instance, 
the bedroom it says bedroom one which is the sliding door bedroom oh my god the way they price it so expensive that look at me i regret it so much also my camera is really bright so i'll turn that down i am full of regret but essentially what i was saying the price breakdown that they give so they give you the full price i'll insert the i'll insert the price breakdown over here so they give you a full price and they'll give you a 50 percent off furniture price and they go on to say like it wasn't it's not even january but they're like oh our january sale is still going on we're extending it to february so you can get a 50 percent off and then plus they have like their own discounted things that they can get out of their their pocket of discounts that they can add to the discount whatever and then the final straw was when he okay I know there is no signal in this house. There is no signal in this house whatsoever to make any sort of phone calls or even just go and use your data. There is nothing in here. We've had like people come here and there's, there's nothing here. Can't make any phone calls, nothing. I know there is no signal in here. Unless you're in the bedroom, then you get like, especially when you're like near the window, you get something, but even then your call might get disconnected. Like I tried making calls, it's hard. So the final bit that you have on the sheet is the, 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 the first call bonus, essentially like he calls his manager and he asks for a discount and he was on about having like, oh, I've got this young couple here and they don't, um, they don't have any like slopes or anything in the ceilings. It will be a very easy installation, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know I know I don't have signal here. You know I know you're on the phone to nobody at all. He was calling nobody, making a fake conversation, and that's why I lost it. I was like, what is this? What is going on? Usually you hear someone on the phone, like you know you could hear them talk to somebody, like you hear a muffled thing talking back at them. There was nothing. He is talking to nobody. This sales guy was doing the most, and it was just, I've never seen it done so obviously before. Yeah, so essentially they give you like your full price and they discount it three times. So essentially to give you a breakdown, this is before that cool disc double bedroom, that double wardrobe with the sliding doors, that would have cost almost £4,000, £3,929. My one, which is the biggest wardrobe here, is going to cost £5,058. And then downstairs here was going to cost £4,310. And then with this final discount, it will be £11,800. Oh my God, what is that? 11K, almost 12K for fitted wardrobes and I I don't know what came over me that I was I think I was just I was just done I wanted to, to leave the house he was trying every single thing for us to make the deal because he we were even on about oh we got an appointment tomorrow with Hammond so we want to see how that goes and he was on about oh you know what I don't want to aim this directly at you but you you already booked our appointment with here so you know sharps you know sharps uh, does a good job you know sharps got good reviews all this kind of stuff and I, I wonder why people go elsewhere i don't know if exhaustion came over me or whatever but we did put down a deposit but here's the thing since we put down a deposit we're gonna have to go through one but we went we drove a little bit so we can get some data on our phones because we don't have any data in this house to look up anything we essentially so Baz likes DIY, luckily, and so he is going to do the upstairs bedrooms. So instead, we because we put down a deposit, I don't want to lose that deposit money, so we are going to keep sharps for just the downstairs one because everyone's going to see that and I don't want sliding doors for downstairs, so we are going to keep the ones downstairs. Cool, so we're not going to pay a 12k for that stupid price, like... I don't know what we were doing. Found this company called, I think it's Slide Pro. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll put else, I'll put whatever it actually is called on the screen. But I think it's called Slide Pro. And essentially it's a company where they provide you with all the materials you need and you can just install your own fitted wardrobe with sliding doors, Slide Pro. So we're gonna do that. And Baz is gonna do it for my room and the upstairs and it's gonna cost way less. I think the downstairs here on its own is like 3K upstairs will not even be 3k like it's just it's gonna cut the cost by a lot it's gonna have more wardrobes and it's not even gonna cost this the amount is downstairs that's how expensive sharps is but i didn't even get to the point of finding out how much hammonds is because this guy would not leave until i made a deal anyways here i am now so that's the plans what we're gonna do
mattress is finally here. Still sleeping on the floor, but. when we got this mattress so we let it kind of just inflate again i guess because it was in like you know a really um vacuum sealed bag and stuff like that so we just let it like expand i've actually purchased this mattress before this is actually the same mattress that i use back at home also it is very bright is it bright i feel like it's very bright so essentially this is the same mattress that I use back at home so I know it's a good mattress and stuff like that but the reason why we're actually getting a new mattress honestly I was fine with the old mattress Baz was um, not fine so he could never sleep on that mattress I think for like the whole like over a year that we've had that mattress in the flat he could never sleep properly but we were too poor to kind of get a better mattress we had to kind of just stick it out for like the duration of when we had the mattress and everything so we actually just had it in here temporarily for when we kind of just needed it and what well, we needed to sleep it was always a thing of he really wanted a new mattress which is understandable because you know you sleep for i don't know you spend a lot of time sleeping essentially and so you know it's really really important that you have somewhere comfortable to sleep so we asked my mom like do you know where we should get our mattress from or whatever because we were looking at mattress place and mattresses oh my god they're so expensive i don't understand how mattresses can just like <laughs> go for like thousands of pounds so when we were talking to my mom so when we went back home we were asking her about like mattresses and stuff and she was just on about like my personal mattress well not my yeah well i guess my personal mattress that i have back at home she got it and she was saying that she the reason why she chose that one was because the reviews it, rep it repaired it compared it a lot to temper mattresses and we're like Oh, okay. So we actually checked out online um, the reviews and everything for my mattress, but we didn't really actually need to look at a lot of reviews because I had the mattress. So we knew it was good. We knew we both could sleep on it or whatever. I felt like it was comfortable to be fair. I think I can sleep on anything because that mattress that we had before was very, very thin and I was fine. This one was, I wrote it down. This one was 400, and, well, we got it for 486 pounds. It's the Ergo Flex 5G mattress. It's actually a very good mattress. It's a memory foam mattress. It's nice. I just, I can't wait till it's actually on a bed. But as you can tell, we both like the mattress. It's the second mattress that I bought from them. So it's been good. 